All right, everybody, welcome back. This is uh, Brody of the Halidoc Bros, and this is going to be part five of my Resident Evil HD playthrough, the 100% uh, uh, room and items um, <clears throat> trophy. That's what I'm going for, at least the first time around, so I can get familiar. So I'm uh, heading down to put the, ne the last death mask back in, um, as well as getting the other ones in the previous video and getting the assault shotgun. Um, yeah, it goes right here. So, yeah, you can see my inventory. I'm fine. Now, there's the death mask. Uh, the assault shotgun, which is way awesome. And then I have this because I'm just going to roll on the next part. Um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I fought the snake in the last episode, got the assault shotgun, found the death masks, and that was pretty much it. I was a little confused on what I was doing for a little bit there, but it's all good. Figure that all out. So, right here is going to be a boss. And, uh, I don't know if it's like a mini boss or something, but, uh, but he's fast and pretty hard, so I would take your shots when you can get them and then move out of the way. And I would, and usually a trophy would pop here, but uh, I have uh, screwed up and and I've died a couple times against this guy. And it is good to have a bonus item. Wow, and it's way easier to use the shotgun. Yeah, don't bother using the pistol. I shouldn't have even taken that hit. I just wanted to use up the pistol ammo because I'm pretty much. I'm pretty much done, gonna be done using this gun. I mean, shortly, not... I don't know, I'd just rather conserve my valuable shotgun ammo towards the end. But this is the object you obtain. So he hit me once, and like I said, there is a trophy that goes, but... Um, actually, one of the times I faced him, I just I underestimated him, and he completely crushed me. But, um, he hit me pretty much at, like, the same time that I killed him. So, I, so a trophy popped, because he is, like, a boss character, or at least a mini-boss character. And he is harder than other regular Crimson Heads. He's the hardest one in the game. Definitely. Because that's, like, a scripted sequence. You, you have to fight that guy, no matter who you are, no matter what story you do. You always have to put those death masks in, and you always have to do that. So. But yeah, so I'm just going to move right along because I forgot that I picked up, I forgot that there were shotgun shells in there, so I hope I don't waste a space. But there are dogs out here. Ah, shoot. And, uh, yeah, that's not good. Come on. Jeez, are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay. Well, that's not great. Not great at all. But, yeah, I don't get it. Sometimes the dogs get... Oh, please. Come on. Sometimes the dogs get, like, more stunned. What the... There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it twice. But, yeah. And I don't want to waste shotgun ammo on those guns. Or on the dogs. Because they're just... You know. I, like, I knew the dog was there. And he somehow still got the drop on me. Maybe because I shot it and it wasn't in the right area. But, wow, well, okay. Well, I guess somebody really wants me to use the shotgun. Pick that up. And pick this up. I could, you know, I could, like, go... I mean, now that I don't... Now that I'm actually, like, hurt now... You know, whatever. But, uh... Let's see. Yeah, I got a decent amount of spaces. So. Alright. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go this way because... 
I don't think I have the right item to do whatever it is I have to do, if I remember correctly. So... <laughs> okay, all those destinations sound just horrible. <laughs> so... Um, I, I do know that you have to mess around with that. Barry? Monster! Chains! Gun! Ineffective! Instant! Stay away! Forest outside mansion! Stay! Hey! Okay, so I know you have to mess around with that thing in order to unlock certain doors and whatnot. Yeah, and both of those together, they rotate these here. Which, I don't think I can get in. Okay. The last gasps of destruction. Horror cry of revenge. Okay. So... I don't know if there's like a whole lot of, of other relevance um, right now, but crap. Well, that's definitely wrong. You either have to I think that might do it. The dogs either have to be facing each other. Or, or uh, they're not facing each other, like, and they're directly away from each other. So did I? Okay, so they're facing each other now. Right. So, uh, so we go the opposite way with the blue and then the red. I, uh, I think it was. Shoot! I tried to. Go right. Let's try. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, let's try that direction. Okay, I knew that wasn't the right direction. I, I don't know why I went for that one. But I gotta hit it right there. I think that's the right direction. No. Okay, so one guy has to face north, which is this dog. Then the other one has to face south. Come on. Okay, there we go. That's the right one for the blue. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> and then the red is, yeah, it's just the exact opposite. So... Oops, well... So there we go. And also, it'll go into a scene, obviously, because you just saw that. And there's nothing in this courtyard area. So. And I think I screwed up by not bringing the wind crest with me. Um, yeah, that might be a problem. So I hope there's not dogs in here or something. I totally screwed that up, um, obviously, and yeah, the crows, I think if you walk, then they don't mess with you, but yeah, I totally screwed that up, because I need the wind crest, and I can get, uh, an item there, so, but yeah, there was a, uh, Yeah, you gotta turn up the brightness a tad here. Unless you have it memorized, which I I just don't. I, I kind of forgot exactly where everything was. Yeah, you can go behind this tree. And you definitely need to remember that, because I think they put zombies here later. And I think you just you want to ignore them for the most part. 
Okay, so yeah, so obviously that area right there, I, I missed the wind crest area, or the wind crest whatever. Oh, and right here is another spot where you you kind of want to, you know, so you can run through this tree, you can kind of cut over there. Um, like I said, I know they put something over here, enemies or zombies or something. So, and I just I thought I remember there being like items out here, but whatever. And there's certainly items in this area here. There's a map of the courtyard. Let's take that. And obviously you can see that there's still items in here. I mean, let's just make sure. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, and obviously, uh, if you have an ink ribbon, oh, whoops, family picture, journal left by somebody, you can just pause it to get, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you. And being, you don't want to be in red caution, but there's still items in this room right here. Okay, so let's not, uh, dilly-dally anymore here, let's, um... We'll take the mixed herbs and use them, and then uh, let me just kind of give myself the ten bullets there, so I have some room. Mm. And then um, let's just see here. I'll definitely use the ink ribbon right now, and then. Um, I'll definitely pull out the wind crest, but I'm going to keep this because I think zombies show up. So, but I am going to save it real quick because I just don't remember what happens right here. And I don't know, kind of, kind of mad that I had to use that thing because I let that stupid dog bite me. I mean, the, the, the one guy hitting me is fine. That's me being stupid because I should have just shot him with the shotgun and not tried to conserve ammo because I have plenty of ammo. So... Okay, gotcha. It took a while. Okay, so we put this back. I have a decent amount of space. Eh. Yeah, so you gotta crouch down over here. Was there anything? No, I think that's for something else. Okay, and right, and yeah, so I went the right way. Obviously, you got to get the crank. Let's check to see if there's anything in this room still. No, there is not. Well, now I wish I would have saved the crank. Um, either way, yeah. No matter what happens right there with the noise, you still get knocked unconscious. So don't bother waiting around for the, you know. We got a nice little new enemy type here. Just some oh, crap. Um, just some crazy uh, T virus monster named Lisa Trevor. And I think once you exit, she just doesn't follow you anymore. Um, you can obviously. What you want to do is not what I did, because she hits really hard. Yeah, that was really stupid by me. Um, you just, uh, if you backtrack and, like, go back up the stairs and kind of just, like, play around in the room and, like, play around with the corners and stuff, uh, then you can just kind of get her to, like, swing and miss or just completely run past her. So, yeah, I think I heard a zombie, so... Just make sure. Yeah, see right there. So you just kind of 
just kind of run past them because you actually don't need to ever come back to that area. So, as far as I remember. So, so we go back here with no health, and I'm going to just walk because I think that's how you ignore the crows. Um, you obviously don't shoot them. That is the one thing you do not want to do. I think if you just walk, it's okay. Oh, crap. And I'm just like... I'm trying to like stay away from them too. Yeah. Well, and also I'm not using the analog stick because the analog stick makes you automatically run. So, okay, so we should be good right there. Okay. Oh, jeez, please tell me I have three spots. Okay, jeez, finally. Okay, so you take out all three crests. And then you examine them, and then you go over to the other spot, which is over here. And I, I'm not going to just... You hit it, and it says some weird stuff about there being weird stuff. So you just look at the back, right? And you press it. Okay. So unless you don't examine anything at all, then there's no way that you should miss any of this. So... Because obviously if you like try to put the crest in, they don't work. You're just like, well, what the heck, and blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's pretty easy. But you just do that. See? No problem. And then you just use them. And as you can see, there you go. See, I didn't see it. You can see the indentations in there. So... The weird thing is people tend to... Like, in speedruns and stuff, it seems like they, like, ignore this. Which, really, to me, it's just... Why? You know? Because, like, it, it's right there. And it takes, what, a minute or two? So unless you're really afraid of, like, one minute of you not beating the game under three hours or something... Now why not pick it up? Because, I mean, you just... You can just crush the tyrant later with it, and you can crush some other things. I guess there is a circumstance where you can get, like, Barry's gun, which I think is a one-hit kill no matter, like, what. And, um... And, I mean, I think it's got, like, three or six bullets in it, and it's like, maybe you don't need it, but it's like... See, at this point, it's like, why do I need to carry around the pistol anymore? Like, you know, I, I shoot the zombies, Crimson Head zombies, they're going down. I have the assault rifle shotgun thingy to, um, assault shotgun to, like, take out the zombies as well. So it's like, you know, why mess around any other way? Okay. Um, in this area, I think there's dogs or something. Can you hear me? Just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Oh, right, and that guy who died wasn't Brad. Shit. It's broken. I think there's dogs out here. Oh, there he is. Oh, crap. Just, uh, the shotgun is fast. Yeah, look at that, huh? All right, all right. I might die right here. It's not good. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Wow, I can't believe I survived. Well, well, well. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, yeah, I am going to pick up this blue herb. Oh, I shouldn't be just picking up crazy random items. Now, I would have used the pistol. Yeah, I got to use this. Oh, wow. I was like one little second or one little split hair from dying now i think i don't know if you actually combined the green and the blue together if it actually would have made it stronger and right there that was a really stupid place to use that because well not stupid but um 
not stupid, but I just, I don't remember if there are any other, like, herbs on the way to, like, the next area. And I, okay, so we got to use the crank right here. There's water right there, and we'll let the cutscene, I think there's a, a scene that follows this or something. So you can hear the sound of waterfall in the distance. So yeah, it goes back into the menu. And then, um, yeah, so this path is revealed. And uh, let me just throw this little bit out here. There are snakes right here that drop. And, um, or no. Okay, sorry, that must be in the first game only. Uh, snakes, like, drop right there, and they're kind of tough to get around sometimes. Okay, so here's another area with crows. I thought there were dogs out here. And if there are, it's in trouble. I know there's items over here, and I think they're herbs, and I think I screwed up. Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be messing around with the crows, and no, there aren't there aren't any important items over here. Shoot. And now I'm probably in danger. Yeah, see I messed up. Yeah, then there's a nice red herb for me right here that I could have just saved. I think there's dogs or something. No, that's where the snakes are. And just run past them. Don't pay any mind to them. Yeah, just get in. <laughs> get in the, uh, the place as quick as possible, because now it's not as crazy. Okay. So a bunch of blue herbs. I think the boxes, I think the brute box room is in here, and I'm just gonna, I don't know, I don't remember if there's any enemies in here, but I'm clearly just treading on. Yep, once you hear that safe music, then you're good, right? Yep, okay, so there we go. Pick up the ink ribbon. And then there's this whole, you know, there's the whole kerosene game you can still play, and it's just like, why? Uh, you do need the crank later, but it's not really a big deal, so. And yeah, uh, I think it's that's about going to be it for um, pistol rounds. I guess we'll put away the magnum. I don't really need it. And I don't know why I pulled that out. But, um... So if you're... Yeah, if you're red caution, you just want to use a double. And then you'll be fine again. We'll just do that. And, um... Yeah, unfortunately... Yeah, I, I don't want to... I don't want to kill any of these zombies with, um, with the handgun, because it's just a pain <laughs> to, uh, to have to deal with the crimson zombies, because they are, like, a lot. I think now that you've seen a crimson zombie, like, I think the timing is, um, like, now they just pop up a little faster, basically. But on second thought, I actually am going to just... I'm just going to carry these two beast guns. Oh, wait, no. There's a gun that you actually get very close um, to here that's pretty useful. Yeah, and I just... I don't think I need any of this other stuff here. Um, yeah, let me... Um, let me check this map here real quick. Yeah, 
there's a bunch of stuff right there. Oh wait, uh, yeah, I gotta save it. Oh, what am I going back to the box for? I, what am I doing? Come on. Yes. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I wasted... Well, I didn't really... Well, yeah, I did waste an herb right there. But, yeah, come on, game. Let's forget, come on, just get... Come on. Jeez. Yeah, that blowing time is brutal right there. Okay, so I'm just going to carry the shotgun around with 10 bullets because there aren't 10 zombies in this area. I know that for certain. And I do have to pick up those herbs because, like I said, it's 100% run. So I'm going to have to go back to the box very quickly. Yeah, but there are spiders and things that can poison you in this area. <laughs> well... Sorry for spoilers. Yes, there's there's spiders in this game. And well, oh wait, and there was snakes. So, um, yeah, you got to remember that the snakes do. I mean, you know, there's a chance that you can get poisoned and all that stuff. But uh, we're just gonna put this box. You don't have to do this if you're a speedrunner. You would just ignore this because I think you only go to this this area right now. Like this is the only time when you're actually here. So. I need to push it a little farther, farther, but, um, and, and the box will, like, re-put itself in, like, the right spot, so, yeah, you gotta block that hole right there, um, and I think you have to, yeah, and then you have to crawl over the box, because that hole, there's something that will, uh, Kind of, something that will like totally kill you okay so that is doors obviously locked so we're going into this one and i'm sure there's i know there's stuff in this room <laughs> yeah. and actually the spiders are actually not that strong of enemies so like using the pistol i know it's like weird but um it's not that crazy to use the pistol um, okay, so there's an oil lamp there, and it's not lit, and I was waiting for, usually, in the, <clears throat> I know I keep talking about the old game, but it's because I just don't remember anything about the new game, but in the old game, the, um, the, the spiders, they, they released, like, little spiders, and yeah, they could poison you too, and they were a pain to deal with. Um, and obviously there is another spider over there. Um, and I want these shotgun shells. If he drops on me, I don't care. Um, but there is... Okay, so... <clears throat> so I'm already out. So just to, you know... Obviously if you get poisoned, you're never at 100% anyway. So combining these together is not really a big deal. You know, you can do it, and you know, I didn't think ahead. Um, let's look in here really quickly. I think the pages are blank. Okay, right. I, I know, I know exactly what this is used for. And I think there's still one more item up there. And the oil the lamp right there, oil lamp. That's green. Yeah, you can come and light these things and do all this stuff. But I just wanted to see if I could clear out just this room. Um, yeah, I mean, there's that spider right there. Once you go in this room, you never need to never need to return to it. Um, I'm hoping. Some abilities two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be any significant about the order, but the colors do matter, and. Um, I think the dartboard has a, has a, has something. Okay. Oh, well, maybe not. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Okay, so this room is totally clear. Now, the thing with the oil lamps is they light up and then they, like, reveal a number. And that is so you can use the V-jolt against the plant, which, once again, 
I'm like spoiling that for people. But there is a boss, and it's, you know, whatever, you know, it's a boss, and it, <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> you, and there's a few different ways to kill it, which, you know, I, I have to mention that there's trophies associated with certain ways, and, um, Probably shouldn't be putting the book away, but whatever. So I gotta do two things real quick here. Gotta check this. I think this is actually, it's not always a first aid spray. Yeah, okay. Raccoon herb. <laughs> so you get a nice little mixed thing of herbs there, and just, you know, just because I don't, I know I don't need ammo, and I can conserve space. Just because I got out of that spot unhinged, I'm going to save it again as well, because why not? I have plenty of ink ribbons. You're not, you don't run out of them. And, uh, you know. Drop that off and continue on. Wherever. Come on. So I got, I mean, I got a pretty good amount of, sh of shells and stuff. But, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's just keep going here. Okay, so like I said, yeah, see, like, the game will move the, I think the game, see, like, move the box a little bit so you could crawl up it. Now, like I said, if you don't mind taking a bit of damage and whatnot, then, you know, it's no big deal. Because this crawling does, you know, shave off a few seconds there or whatever. Okay. I'm fairly certain there's some stuff in this hallway. Okay. Um, this door should be locked. Yep, okay. And uh, that is definitely unlocked. But I do have to pick this up, but... See, that was dumb. Actually, let's see here. If you look through it, I thought, yeah, shoot, I shouldn't have done that because one of them crawls through. <clears throat> ah, that was my bad. I knew I shouldn't have checked that out. That was stupid on my part. And, yeah, geez, I'm probably poisoned or something now. Oh, wow, they put me down to caution. But you can go through here. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Okay, oh man, not fair. It's not, I wasn't like mad jamming X. But uh, obviously, you know, there's some, um... Jill. Barry, oh. I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, 
Maybe I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. And obviously the camera's right there. So Plant 42, that is the boss that I've been talking about. And you know, this has a little bit of reveal. It reveals a little bit of stuff about it and all that nonsense. Um, but you know, if you want to read it, just pause it. Like all notes. And uh, we move on. So, um, let's see. I know there's something in the bathroom. I just want to check my health. Okay, so it's not like crazy. That was, that was nonsense. I knew I shouldn't have done that thing with the beehive. I, I thought that once you got the map, it like... Okay. I thought there was, I thought there was like zombies or something in here. Is there... What the, yeah. Heck. Okay. Oh, not fair! The auto aim didn't work at all. And man. And I know this is like really sketchy, but. Shoot. That's not. Dude, come on, pick up the key. Man. Alright, since I'm never coming back in here again. Dang, that was garbage. I was trying to blow his head off because there's no reason not to because I don't want to have to deal with the stupid crimson zombies. That just uh, makes me so mad. Actually, what is the key that I picked up? Let me just make sure. Okay, so I think I might actually have to go back. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so everything has got in this room. But, um, just so... So you push that, like so. And you push this, and it reveals a little secret passage there. Um, but yeah, since I'm hurt, I'm gonna go back, because... Because... The, well, one, the aim or whatever didn't work, and, and, uh, where did the, okay, I really, really, really need to get away from these bees, I'm in, like, danger, one little hit, and I'm screwed, yeah, so, basically, the hint there is to not, like, examine that hole where the beehive is. Just don't do it. And then, you know, it, then, like, the bees won't ever be there in the hallway. Now, obviously, you can probably shoot them, but I'm not going to even waste the ammo. But this is room 100. So there's no further use of this key. Discard it. Yes. So I'm not going to walk in there, obviously, because I do know that there's enemies in there. And uh, I need health because I'm stupid. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a first aid spray. I know that it messes up your grade, but I just don't care right now because this doesn't, this game doesn't go by grades as I think I've mentioned in a previous video about the old Resident Evils. If you used a first aid spray, it lowered your grade and you weren't able to get like the A, but this one is, is just solely based on time uh, as far as I know, so whatever so i needed a full health i just used the first aid spray make it quick because i just want to just want to get this over with here um let's see so there's two items on this desk here yeah the self-defense gun so so this guy obviously committed suicide or whatever but Just some dying note. There's some pistol ammo right here. And, um... You know. You see the hanging guy there, but there is a bathroom here. 
and just because I don't care about whatever this little gun is, I'm just going to use it because I think there's a zombie right in here, like right in your face. I think. Right, well, he's on the ground. But... Oh, what the? See, so you can just burn him. Okay. Okay, so we, we do have to do this. So that sucks. I think you had to do that first, and then he comes to life. Yeah, and there's something in the bathtub. You do need this key before you go downstairs. So, I'm just going to quick pull out my map to see if there's any items that I missed in case, you know, because... But as you can see, both rooms are completely clear. So, you just ignore it. <laughs> That's what I would do. So I'm just going to go across the hall and put the self-defense gun away, which I don't think you can reload or anything, but whatever. So, so that sucked. I just, you know, I, I would have wasted a bullet anyway, but basically, you know, I mean, the self-defense gun, I think it's just a magnum, a magnum round or a magnum bullet. So, you know, but, um... Uh, yeah, but I'll just, I'm going to save it right here and end the video. Um, <laughs> it got a little slow there because I was definitely getting beat up pretty good by the enemies. But yeah, so that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.